morning students today let us begin from your poetry section the second unit that is wind by subramanya bharati whenever we think of wind or we call it gale or cyclone what do we think of it always brings fear into man's lives because it always does destruction to the natures to the human lives animals and property let's see in this poem what the poet is telling us about the wind about the poet the full name of subramanya bharati was chinna swami subramanya bharatiyar he was born on 11th december 1882 he was an indian writer journalist indian independent activist and social reformer from tamil nadu he was popularly known as mahakavi bharati and a pioneer of modern tamil poetry in fact he was one of the greatest tamil literary figures of all time he is remembered as the people's poet a great nationalist outstanding freedom fighter and social visionary of the country the wind here the poem is a symbol of problems and obstacles which are to be dealt without fear the poet is telling us today that we need to be strong in mind and heart and body the wind will be our friend when we are strong difficulties and challenges are to be encountered boldly we should learn to cope with hard situations in life let us now move on to the poem itself follow the book page number 30 wind by subramanya bharati wind comes softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all he won't do what you tell him so come let's build strong homes let's join to the doors firmly practice to form the body make the heart stay fast do this and the wind will be friends with us the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day here the poet is requesting the wind to come softly and not to break the shutters of the windows and not to scatter the papers the wind here is personified as human being human quality is given to the wind in fact the entire poem is that of personification i hope you have watched and learned the figures of speech in my video so you know what is figures of, what is personification the poet tells the wind not to throw down the books which are on the shelf however do you think the wind is going to listen to the poet no wind does not listen to the poet remember the wind is all mighty it's all it has the um, mighty power it does not listen to the human request or uh, human demands it throws down the books tears the pages of it and then follows the torrential rain the poet feels that the wind is clever at making fun of those who are weaker than it he calls them weaklings note the number of destruction done by the wind it breaks down the weak houses weak doors and rafters rafters means log of wood which are used in the roof even it crumbles or destroys the human lives the wind god winnows or blows sap and crushes them all it refuses to listen what human being tells him therefore the poet is telling we need to do something about it and so what is that something about it he tells let's build strong homes 
joint the doors firmly make oneself strong in mind and body and to be firm if we do this the wind will be our friend and will blow out our weak desires or weak fires within and will make us strong and we will flourish he tells his friendship is good and we should praise him every day here the poet is of opinion that people must be strong at heart because only the weak at heart are troubled by difficulties the wind symbolizes difficulties which has power to devastate life on earth but if the people are strong at heart they face the challenges thrown out by difficulties and at last come out with flying colors let's look at the poem little more closely you see the poet makes use of numbers of figures of speech in this poem as i told you earlier the entire poem is that of personification beside that also there are number of figures of speech the poet makes use of it you see there first wind comes softly it's an apostrophe and what is apostrophe when direct address is given to the inanimate objects or person absent or dead you know here the wind is addressed directly wind comes softly you see it's an apostrophe again you see don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books don't break the shut- don't break the shutters see all this don't don't don three times you can see in the first lines the second third and fourth line you see we call this figure of speech as anaphora what is anaphora when a word or expression is repeated at the beginning of a number of sentences we call anaphora again you see same thing don't scatter the papers don't break the shutters these are what you call it again personification what is personification when an inanimate object is addressed as human being or human quality is given to the inanimate objects now um, wind because of wind the paper gets scattered but then it's not the it's, it's not a human being it's scattering or breaking the windows okay and therefore it's a figure of speech is personification crumbling houses crumbling doors it's a repetition and what is repetition when the same words are repeated number of times in a same sentence we call it repetition again you see his friendship is good it's a personification again we make friendship with the human being not with the wind and therefore it is an this figure of speech is we call it personification my dear students as i told you earlier in life one day or the other whether we are young or old we will have to face the wind in what it comma which stands for difficulties problems and challenges if we are strong we will boldly face it and be happy but what happens to many those who are weak at heart recently from one family of five members from delhi they committed suicide because due to lockdown they had nothing to eat they could not face the challenge you see after the ssc and hsc result how many students who fail or get less percentage than expected what happens to them they get into depression and even end up their lives they are not strong to face the wind in their lives and so the poet is telling us today and my dear students let us be strong enough to face the difficulties challenges that problems that life brings then we will be happy in accepting when we accept and we face the difficulties we are happy i hope you have understood the poem on the page number 31 you will find few questions and i have typed it out for you here you see first question what are the things the wind does in the first stanza you see in the first stanza you will find the wind breaks out breaks the doors of the window scatters the papers and throws down the books on the shelf it also tears the pages of the books and brings rain second question what does the poet say the wind god we knows okay 
the wind god we knows all the things available at home it does not uh, uh, it does not select okay it we knows everything whatever it finds it does not look for uh, that it's going to affect only the books or the windows everything okay in the in fact in your textbook you will find second question is have you seen anybody we know grain at home or in a paddy field what is the word in your language for winnowing what do people use for winnowing give the words in your language if you know them i am sure most of you may not know or may not have seen but in the rural area till now the people they do we know the grains either wheat or rice but you will see in your book you see the picture there are two ladies we knowing they are separating the good bad good and bad grains you know there is called we knowing if you know you write if you don't know forget third question how does we make wind our friend answer would be actually the poet is suggesting that we should build strong houses and fix the doors firmly to make friends with the wind moreover we should be strong enough to face the difficulties in life fourth question what do the last four lines of the poem mean to you answer would be the last four lines convey the message that those who are not determined and lack confidence they face defeat and those who set their targets and make sincere efforts are not disturbed by any obstacle fifth question how does the poet speak to the wind in anger or with humor you must also have seen or heard of the wind crumbling lives what is your response to this is it same as the poets answer would be the poet speaks to the wind with humor surely it is, he is not angry you know the, the wind usually what it does it devastates the property mercilessly the poet here invites the wind to attack him he is ready to face the challenges and to prepare himself for the attack beside that you see there are some additional questions for you the first what does the wind symbolize here the symbol of wind the wind symbolizes the brutal power of nature the wind god is a symbol of might and strength he hates weaklings those who are weak he rather pokes fun at them be they are frail houses crumbling doors or crumbling hearts and bodies he spares none he befriends only the strong befriends means he makes friendship with only those who are strong second how can you say that friendship with the strong is good answer would be when we have friendship with the strong we learn several new things we learn that we may become strong when we fight with difficulties the people say that if we are strong the wind may be our friend because the wind likes to be friend likes to befriend the strong people so if we desire to have the strong to be our friends we have to show courage ourselves this is the main reason that the poet talks about the steadfast heart of the poem next why does the wind god does not do what we tell him the wind god is all powerful he is not influenced by any external factors he does not do what we tell him to do neither our requests nor our commands will influence him he is mighty and sweeps away all weaklings with him he loves strength and befriends with strong and steadfast heart and the last one who are disturbed by the wind the wind disturbs only those people who are not determined those who are weak at heart the self confident people overcome the obstacles put before them by the wind the wind does not have the knack to disturb the peace of mind of such people that means strong people the wind blows out weak fires and makes strong fires roar and flourish i hope you have understood write down all these questions answers even the additional questions when school reopens i'll be checking your notebook and learn the answers Thank you.